30,000 votes. Yep, 30,000 votes. That's what it came down to. And I'm not talking about the presidential election in any states. I'm talking about Proposition 114. 30,000 votes. 1.521 million versus 1.491 million for the reintroduction of wolves in Colorado. Poof. By December 31st, 2023. What is, what's going on? When did wildlife management come down to the ballot boxes? When did wildlife management come down to a public decision-making process in which they don't have the science or the acumen to decide on wildlife management? Isn't that the whole tenor of why people go to school to study wildlife and populations and predator-prey interactions and balances and carrying capacities? I guess we need to get rid of all the wildlife fisheries departments around the country. I think Colorado has a land-grant institute, as all states do, that has a wildlife fisheries department. So if you haven't been paying attention to the front lines of hunting when it comes to voting, Proposition 114 was put on the ballot this past election cycle. And that 114 proposition, when you boil it down, is the creation of a recovery plan, the carrying out of that plan, and the management of that plan to reintroduce wolves on the western side of the Continental Divide in Colorado. Unfortunately, we don't have the voter breakdown of 1.5 against 1.4, but you could probably put some money on the fact that it's a urban rural divide in which the reintroduction of wolves will occur in a rural setting and not in the urban environment. But that's beside the point. So according to the science, gray wolves have been extirpated in the state of Colorado since 1940. And ever since the reintroduction of wolves in the northern rocky population, uh, there has been some sightings, especially this year in 2020, of a small wolf pack in the northwest corner of Colorado. So the idea that there are no wolves in Colorado has already been pointed as false. And even the National Geographic headline uh, article points to the fact that, yeah, there's some wolves in Colorado. You see that National Geographic article headlined, in Colorado, wolves are coming home. Yet later in the article, they state that there was a small pack of wolves in the northwest corner of Colorado. Bygones, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I think there are a couple of key points that you need to take away from this Proposition 114. And it's not all doom and gloom. Yes, it's not good. But let's look at a couple of points that you can put in the back of your brain as this process unfolds between now and December 31st, 2023. Number one, this proposition is to create a plan to recover, reintroduce, and most importantly, manage. That management component is critical. If you look at the fine print of what the proposition actually says, it also says that it needs to take into consideration the economic impacts of the reintroduction of wolves. And it also, very critically, has to evaluate the impacts of no introductions into the system. So they have to do both sides of the economic evaluation equation for this reintroduction plan. Point number two. Last week's video, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has delisted the gray wolf off of ESA, pushing all of that management down to the state agency. So the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Department will manage these wolves and will have the full reign of the law to manage these wolves. And so that management is going to be critical and key in this plan development over the next three years. Number three. In that proposition ballot, there was very specific language tied to designated lands. Recovery, reintroduction, and management on designated lands. I do not know what that means, but that specific language could be used to designate certain management units for certain wolf management targets and other lands for other wolf management targets. So that key piece of geography of designated lands is gonna be critical to look at to talk about, especially in those public meetings, in the next three years. So we can't really cry over spilt milk. It's done. Proposition 114 has 
been voted on and it's moving forward. All right, so now let's make the best of the situation. The states can manage. We've got three years. There's gonna be a public comment period. There's gonna be a public interaction period in which they have to take into account that public comment in the plan development. So rural Coloradans, Coloradans that have a love for wildlife, hunters, non-resident hunters, make your voices heard. Be a part of this process. This process is now very much in the spotlight and the science is going to have to come to bear because at the end of the day, wildlife management comes down to science. It doesn't come down to emotions. And unfortunately, this ballot was put onto the agenda for this last election cycle because of emotions. And wolves are just that emotional animal, that alpha predator as we talked about, just elicits something inside of us. But between now and December 31st, 2023, science is going to be king. Science is going to be the spearhead of what this looks like, where it happens and what it changes and morphs into and how it gets adapted over time after reintroductions. So make your voices heard. This is the narrative of hunters. We care for wildlife. Do we wanna see wolves on the landscape? Some of us will say no, because we are that alpha predator of that landscape. Some of us will say, I'm okay with it. My opinion, I'm okay with it. But they have to be managed, just like any other wildlife on the landscape. Appreciate you.